Hi guys. So today I'm just making a detailed video on the tools that I use uh, every day, all the time for 3D printing. Uh, one of uh, one of, I had made a short video earlier, but I think a detailed uh, one was required. So there are many videos about this, but this is my to my personal liking. What what all do I use? So this is a uh, Allen key set by Bosch. You know, it has uh, these nubs, you know, and they are hardened steel, so uh, they are really, really good. And these really helped in, you know, getting into those grub screws. So they are really, really good. Take my word for it. Second was this Bamboo Lab Scraper. This was a file which came with the printer and uh, the blade was also provided by the, uh, you know, with the accessories box in the machine. So I printed this and attached this. So this is really useful, but I rarely use it because the prints, you know, once the plate is cool, they come off pretty easily. This is more for those high temperature materials, I think. But another one uh, thing to mention about this is, uh, do not use this, you know, too hard on the PIE plate because it does put scratches on the plate. So if I need to use this, I'm, I, I'm very, very careful. Then I have this snip, uh, you know, diagonal pliers, clipper, whatever you can call it. These are by Bosch again. And this is the perform uh, performance, I think the professional model by Bosch. And they're really good. And uh, on the same note, I have actually a few of them. This is by Stanley. And which I really, really like for 3D printing is the cheapest of them by Boosden. This is a Chinese company. So you can see the name here, Boosden. And they are really good for, you know, cleaning out those supports and, you know, uh, whatever from the, you know, the 3D printed uh, part. Then you should re definitely have, you know, one or two of these. Nose pliers. Again, for removing supports. So, they really help. Sorry about that, my, you know. And then Allen keys again. This one is with a handle. And, you know, you can grip it better if you really need to tighten those uh, Allen screws. Then some spares I like to keep. This is especially for the Hydra machine. Bamboo spares, I have different, uh, I have a different box for them. So I like to keep these, uh, you know, NTC 100 thermistors. These are the cartridge type, if you're using the cartridge block. So you, know, you can see, this is the cartridge, it's a 3mm by 6mm cartridge. And they will, you know, they will get, get spoiled, definitely. Then I, keep these heat breaks at hand you know they could be a clog or uh, you know the filament gets stuck and it can't be removed just keep a heat break at hand then i also keep this gear uh, you know it's a 40 teeth wheel i think uh, to push the filament for the extruder or keep one at hand then I also keep a heat sink at hand mine has a direct drive one so I keep one of these spare and definitely silicone socks you know you do need these and then a lot of your heat blocks where the nozzle attaches and the heat break attaches and the thermistor 
thermistor goes into this. This is for the, you know, the glass thermistor, NTC 100. Okay. And this is where the heater cartridge goes. And this is where the nozzle and the heat, nozzle and the heat brake goes. So I keep different sizes. And this is a square block. More of a rectangle again, rectangle. So I keep these at hand. Then, of course, I showed these to you in my earlier video. A lot of nozzles, you know, for the E3D V6 hot end. I've, I've seen in the market now there are a lot of different hot ends, but still, these many of these those hot ends use still use the V6 nozzles. And then, you know, there are volcano nozzles. Uh, I'm try, planning to convert the, uh, my hot end to a volcano model. Hot end. Then these are the heater cartridges. The 20 mm by 6 mm, I think. Then a spare hot end fan. And these are the glass type NTC 100K thermistors. Last but not the least, tweezers. Buy the high quality ones. These are by Thumbesto. And they are really heavy and sturdy. So buy these. They last you a long time. And then lastly, a nozzle brush printed and uh, I just pasted, you know, these nozzle brushes on top of it. All right, guys, that's about it. Thank you. Bye-bye. In the previous video, one thing, uh, you know, I forgot to mention was that, you know, about these, uh, these thermistors, NTC 100K, they come in two, uh, you know, two shapes or two sizes. This, this is the cartridge type, as I earlier mentioned. Uh, it's a 6mm length, 3mm dia. And then the, you have these, uh, you know, these glass probes. So, Heat blocks are different for these applications. You know, I made the mistake so you don't have to. So this is a heat block which takes the cartridge type thermistor. And then here's a heat block. Here's a heat block which takes the gla glass type thermistor. So I spent a lot of money, you know, just figuring this out. You know, I ordered these and the, the glass type came and then I originally had a, you know, a cartridge type. Then I removed the cartridge type thermistor from the machine because it had become spoiled. I, you know, I put a glass type on it and then used the glass type uh, heat block. So don't make this mistake. Be very sure if you have a glass type thermistor or a heat, you know, a cartridge type. And then accordingly order the heat block. Alright guys, bye bye.